Well, what another disappointing loss yet again. Now, unlike the Bills game, they actually had many positives and played well enough, putting them in position to win this game, but yet again, fell short. You can play the blame game all you want, but at the end of the day, the team as a whole didn't make enough plays to win the game. The offense stalled out in the first half after the first two drives, and the defense couldn't make that final stop to win the game. Both costed them equally. Credit to the Dolphins playing a very good game, but yet again, it feels like the Cowboys got in their own way, causing another loss. You had the fumble on the goal line, which was just haunting, and then the flags just became daunting making it hard for the Cowboys to win this game. Cleaning up some of these crucial mistakes and penalties would have been the difference in this game and can be between an early playoff exit or a deep playoff run. They just got to keep them at a minimum because either way, football is football. Mistakes will happen, adversity will hit, and the real question is, Will they be able to answer it? That final drive the offense had was a very promising sight for that question. Now, I get it. You can say they need to play better for the whole entire game. But at least they responded and came up big when needed most. It's a positive that they definitely need to bank on and build off of going into the playoffs. Now, the Dolphins are a good team. And there's no question the strength lies in the offense with the speed they have. It was a test for the defense, and the defense, in my opinion, did a pretty damn good job. They only allowed a handful of explosive plays and responded from last week, stopping the run game and not letting it torch them. They for sure got bent, but they did not break. They only allowed one touchdown, which is very impressive against that Dolphins offense. But at the end of the day, it wasn't enough when the clock zero. And overall, that's all there is to it. It's about the defense making one more stop, the offense converting on one more drive. As much as losing this game sucks and will most likely put them on the road for the playoffs, like I've been saying, this schedule and these type of games are so good for the Cowboys. I get all the worries and the concerns that are starting to pop up, but my hope still lies in with this schedule. This end of the year stretch is by far more challenging than the previous two, which is what I think could be what separates them from the past. Yes, wins against these teams will be a great sign. Set them better up for the playoffs would give them confidence in a home game, which seems to be a big advantage. However, as we've seen over the years, they have lost as the one seed, as the division winner, and as a wild card. At the end of the day, it's about finding a way to make the playoffs and overcoming the flaws. And this stretch, in my opinion, has given them the best opportunity to reflect and to really see the flaws they have and to improve going into the playoffs. And let's face it, it's not been all bad. They have been all playoff atmosphere games leading to two wins and two losses. The two wins didn't crown them as champions and the two losses didn't eliminate them. They got to take the good and the bad and move on. That's where I'm at with this team. Call me crazy, but I still believe in this team and will until they are officially out. I'll put it like this. If they lose the first playoff game, I wouldn't be surprised. Not one bit due to what they have shown in the previous four games. However, I cannot ignore the good that has come from this whole year and the past four games. Dak has played very well in the majority of the games and to me has shown he has what it takes to lead this team to a chip. CD has shown all year how dependable he is and how much our offense relies on him. Brandon Cooks has made elite catches in some very, very big moments being so clutch. Tolbert has been a hidden gem along with Turpin starting to be utilized a little bit more and taking advantage of those opportunities. And lastly, Gallup, I still believe has those clutch plays in him and as a deep ball threat. The O-line, when healthy, started to click and get on a groove. Same thing with the D-line. 
Those two position groups, the O-line and the D-line, depend so much on health. Osa and Hankins have been so big in the run game, and getting Hankins back will be so big for the playoff stretch. D-Law has been one of the best players on the defense, no doubt, all year. Just showing his passion and will he has for the game and undoubtedly deserves the flowers that are coming his way. Micah is Micah, and J. Lou is really coming back to his own. I told you guys not to hit the pant button, and that's the same with Donovan Wilson. Those two are a big source of hope. You also got Gilmore and Bland, and the list just goes on and on and on. At the end of the day, who knows? All I know is the Cowboys are not out, and the team as a whole is gonna have to find a way to win these type of games, or it's gonna be another disappointing end to this year. Thank you for watching, and I hope you had a great Christmas if you celebrate. Peace.